Well, unfortunately, I can't get a good place to show you these colors. So this will have to do. My lighting is not good. The base is much darker than it's shown in the photos. This was the base and I over dyed it with browns and with um, pumpkin, which was interesting. So you do see the lines. Uh, you do see the lines, but not very much in real life. It's really a nice soft brown and mottled. Um, it's not as uh, modeled as the picture shows in real life. There's a bit of black there and everyone is different of course. And the and the edging is still on. So this was the kit to make to the falling leaves and I didn't like the way it turned out. I didn't like the blues and and the um, the colors. I didn't like the background. It wasn't dark enough. Now these are the colors that go with it. This was the blue. If I can put it up. This was the blue and I over dyed it with pumpkin and it turned green. And there's a bluish green in it. Um, really quite nice. Nice soft thin wool. So that's that one. It's really difficult to do this camera today. I'm in a different place. I'm sitting down on my brown Betty with my brown Betty box and it's not doing very well. This is a lighter green. It's a softer green. Same material. Same uh, weave of wool. It's that one. And this one is, uh, I don't know how I got this larger. I, I did use um, more wool because I couldn't do the purple and one of the blues I couldn't do that was in the other kit. So I, I tore up some new wool to use. And this is a um, khaki color maybe. I don't know. But they go together very nice anyway. Let's see if I can... There, okay. Uh, this is a golden color, but it's still on the shade of green. And this is um, a grayish color. That was the original for in the kit. That was nice. It's a greenish gray. Now, I did one more. I wanted a pumpkin color. And this is a uh, new piece of wool, not, not over dyed in the kit. This is the pumpkin color, but it's too bright. So I'm going to give you a choice. Um, I'm going to darken this a bit today, just tone it down a bit. And I think that would be much better with this set. I think this one is too close to this one. There's not a, a big difference there. These and see the three? Well, I don't know if it's that much difference when you use them. I think you need a uh, like an accent type thing, so I'm going to over dye this. If you want the um, over dyed pumpkin, please put it in your notes. Or if you'd like just the these um, ones that are very nice close together in the shades of green tones, uh, then you don't have to put anything in the in the notes. Only if you want the pumpkin, which is this one, and I am going to tone it down a bit so it's not going to be so bright. That's definitely too bright. But I do think it needs um, a bit of a contrast there. The green and this, and then the browns and the greens to go with it. So that's the kit. I have only six. I hope this takes good photos. Really, I do. Uh, it will be much better when I have something permanently set up. I didn't do anything with the purple shade because it is so nice, except I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And I don't know how I got that purple shade. I didn't use red. Um, 
I don't know where that came from. So uh, somewhere somewhere in the future there'll be something with, to mate to this, but <clears throat> for now it's either 